Good morning, everyone. It is another fine sunny day on our beautiful island. And as Pooh Bear once said, I have a rumbly in my tumbly and it's time for something sweet. And if you're looking to satisfy your sweet tooth, then Kasahara honey is the best place to come for that. Well, let's head inside and I will gladly show you around. First, honeycomb themed steps. And then a honey spoon themed door. <laughs> it's very cute here. Welcome to the world of honey. <laughs> so if we look here on the shelf, they have a variety of different honey and honey-based products that you can buy. Um, they're all different flavors and you are allowed to sample them should you care to try a certain one. Let's take a moment to cruise the menu here and I'll explain a few things. Um, they have a variety of different foods and drinks that you can choose from. The signature here though is coffee with honey. So if you look at the menu, you will see one spoon, two spoon, three spoon. This correlates to how many spoonfuls of honey they will put in your coffee to sweeten it. It is very delicious. A few desserts like waffles, jelly parfait, cheesecake, and their own homemade ice cream. I love the ice cream here, it is really good. Ah, and then last but not least, something special. Hachimitsu pudding, that's honey pudding. They make a custard themselves with uh, a layer of honey on top to sweeten it. Follow me deeper into the cafe. There is a dried foods based pantry here. You can buy things by the gram. Also, raw honey on tap if you want to bring your own jar and fill it. They weigh it, you pay it. Okay, so among the dried foods uh, sundries here, there are some specifically Suo Oshima based products. One is the Iriko anchovy, and then of course, shiitake mushrooms, which I do believe Kasahara grows his own. Now you're probably wondering where do they get their honey? Where does it come from and how do they get it from the hive into this cute little jar? Today we're gonna show you exactly how, so follow me. We're gonna do a little bit of beekeeping. Let me introduce Mr. Kasahara, the owner and operator of Kasahara Honey Cafe and a prominent bee farmer here on the island. So, I want to know, why did you come here? Oh, okay. Why are you interested in bee farming? それは絶対やりたくなかった仕事の一つで。で、ま、逃げてあの大学をま、福岡の方に行ってそこでやっぱ自分の好きなあの<笑> That's quite a story. Well, I think that this is an incredible job. And <laughs> yeah, I think it's really special. Mm. And you, you're a very brave person because like, I, I'd be too afraid to like, <laughs> めちゃ。I think the human instinct when we hear that sound is to run away, right? Like that's just my innate instinct. なるほど。僕らはもう蜜蜂の音と雀蜂とかああいった音が全然違うっていうのが分かるんで。そっかそっかそっかそっか。こっちの音は全然何ともないんで。Right, this is not as threatening a sound as susume <laughs> well, never in my wildest dreams did I ever think I'd be wearing one of these and like doing any beekeeping. So this is gonna be an adventure. <laughs> I think Kasahara-san's getting the smoke canister ready. I hope the bees are in a good mood. Oh, look at them! Oh. Look how busy they are. Wow. 
Oh, look at that. <gasps> look at all those happy bees. Oh, that's amazing. There's a queen bee. Wow, look how many there are. One queen? I think I found her. Is she big? Is she big? Okay. 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 I think I might have seen her on this side. Well, there was a really big one here. Well, there's like that. Oh, those are, those are male. Oh, I didn't.体が小さいのはメスバチ。この辺はメスバチ。ほとんどはメスです。ほとんどがメスです。オッケー、what are so they eat and they breed. Mm -hmm. Wow, what a life. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Oh, so do they die when they get kicked out? Ano, jibun tachi de gohan wa atsumeru koto wa dekinai kara, mo shindeiku. They starve to death. Oh, that's terrible. <laughs> So they serve their purpose and it's yes. like, get the heck out of my house. Mm. Oh, does she have a marker mm -hmm. on her? Mm -hmm. Okay. Does she always stay in one place or does she move about the hive? ジョウバチが卵を産んで3週間で孵化する。なるほど。で、これがオスバチのあの卵。オスバチの卵。うん。だからメスこっちがメスバチ。で、オスバチで大きさが違う。だから体が大きい。なるほど。のがオスバチが
ありがとうございますよかった<笑><笑>持ってみてみ、ね okay, yeah. oh、<laughs> <laughs>、oh, really <laughs> like, yeah, えー、okay, はい、じゃあ、yeah. ちょっと待ってこの時期は1週間。1週間。Wow. Wow. Okay. <笑> 1年間で、えー、とこの時期だけ。はいが1週間に。なるほど。5月中旬から、えー、と6月中旬。うーん Is their season limited? Like, do they only work from, like, what, spring to summer? I don't know. I don't know. So he gives them back the comb so they can continue working. Yes. でこのオスメバチの目的は中にある幼虫これが10匹ぐらいいると2時間ぐらいあればここのいるミツバチが。ほぼ全滅するぐらい。ぐらい。ぐらい。ぐらい。ぐらい。ぐらい。ぐらい。ぐらい。ぐらい。ぐらい。ぐらい。ぐらい。ぐらい。ぐらい。ぐらい。ぐらい。ぐらい。ぐらい。ぐらい。ぐらい。ぐらい。ぐらい。こいつは凶暴。あ、ね、あ、that's terrible <笑>。is so is this a queen？ it can be a queen。it can be because it's huge。I'm sorry I'm gonna pick this up。I normally would not。go anyway。no it's dead dead。okay。so if you're wondering what a killer hornet looks like and how big it is。this is this is it。so um。These things eat honeybees, and this one was kind of checking out the hive, and Kasahara gave it a good whack <laughs> and killed it. So, potentially a colony saved because this little sucker didn't get in there and kill all of the、uh, bees. I thought there, it's been a problem in the States too. It、Asian. has, yeah. These,、uh, these came to Washington State actually from Japan、right. um, on accident. So,、uh, yeah, these serious predators. Oh, I don't think I can actually. Oh my god, yeah, that's really. I couldn't do it by myself. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, すごいっすよね<laughs> This is heavy. It's about 30 kilos. I guess we could take these off now, huh? これに巣を入れてぐるぐるぐるぐる。あ、う、あ、ん、オッケー、ビスです。そう、回っていく。これ蓋してあるこれが三つ蓋って言って、こっちは蓋がしてない状態。ね、だからこれはこのままこれ回したら出るけど、どここは全然出ない。ははは<笑>で、この違いは何かっていうと、糖度が一度から二度ぐらい変わってくる。八十度以上になって、<笑>もうそれ以上を糖度を上げることができないとなるとミツバチがこういう蓋をしていくんですよ。まあ冬につれて食料が少なくなっていくの時にそのためにミツバチはあの蜂蜜を集めていく。そうそうそう。そうそうそう。でその時に集めすぎたやつをまあ。私たちが分けてもらうっていう感じですね。だから取りすぎないようにまあ少しは置いておくっていう。で、えっ、ー、とさっき見たようにこの巣は同じなんですよ。だから卵を産む場所とかもこれ蜂蜜貯める場所とかも同じ巣であるから<笑>そこをうまく調整しないと今度は卵を産む場所が
なくなってくると。まあ、世代交代が進まないっていうのでミツバチのがどんどん減少していくふうになるからだからミツがたくさん入るときはミツを取ってあげて産卵するスペースを確保してあげるっていうそういった意味もありますね。これで蓋が開いたからここも蜜が出るようになるほどなるほど。これをちょっとつまんでガム,ガムみたいに。中にあの蜜ろうが残るからそれはもうだ出して大丈夫。ああ、ちょっと。ああ、ちょっと。ああ、<笑>ああ、うん、<笑>これやばいでしょうね。僕もらってるす。超美味しい。超美味しい。超美味しい。超美味しい。超美味しい。超美味しい。超美味しい。超美味しい。超美味しい。超美味しい。超美味しい。超美味しい。超美味しい。超美味しい。超美味 A lot of other flavors to it, a different smell, and yeah, oh my god, that's you, you can't get more fresh than that, right? <laughs> Wait, I'm gonna, gonna take it. <laughs> well, yeah, I would say some things that are really sugary kind of irritate your taste buds after a while. But this, this is, um, well, it's completely natural, so it just doesn't have that same effect. What kind of honey is this? What flower does it come from? Now, it's a hazel. 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 Hazel.
。ありがとうございます。It's like my best present ever. <laughs> Well, we are totally done out here harvesting the honey, and I've got my, my own special stash right here. And the best way to enjoy this is to head back to Kasahara's cafe and maybe、uh, sample this and some of his other honeys on toast. So let's go! So, after a busy day of beekeeping, I think one of the best things you could do is gather up some toast and some honey and give all of the different honeys that they produce here a try. So, I have Miss Kasahara here with me. She's going to explain to me about their different honeys. はい、こちらから。じゃあ、みかんの花から採れた蜂蜜ですね。はい、みかん蜂蜜。で、これさっき採ってきていただいた、はい。初夏通りですね。はい。初夏通りですね。はい。初夏通りですね。はい。初夏
Uh, there is an English menu here as well as English speaking staff. So I think anyone visiting、um, from America or from the base, they would have absolutely no problems、uh, ordering their food here. If you would like more information on Kasahara Honey products as well as the direction to their cafe, please check out our description. We'll have all information there. So until next time, thank you for watching. This is the American Waifu. I will see you next time. Bye bye.